What's up guys, it's John, and today we're bringing you something a little special. You know, I get a lot of questions about exotic shotgun ammo and what is actually usable for home defense. So we have the mini slug and mini buckshot, both 12 gauge. I've got my Remington 870 Marine Magnum with the wood furniture on it. And our first test is going to be a water jug. We're gonna see what happens. So let's go ahead and let's put this little 12 gauge slug it's uh, very, very tiny into my 870 here. And there we go. Let's have at it. Let me just get into position. Here we go. Interesting, it went right through that. Didn't really explode too much, not a whole lot of energy. Let's see what it looks like in high speed. Okay, now we have the mini buckshot. It's a little bit of number four buck and a little bit of number one. Let's see what it does to a couple gallon jugs downrange. There we go. Here we go. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Let's see it in high speed. So here's our wall setup. We've got a little rig here with a piece of drywall and then another piece of drywall in the back to simulate an interior wall of your home. Here we have our Dr. Coat LLC ballistics gelatin block. You can see this stuff is super, super clear and uh, it is to FBI spec. We're gonna see what happens when we shoot some exotic shotgun ammunition into it. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is put it through our interior wall facsimile. We've got the Dr. Coat block down there. We've got our little wall rig and we've got the mini 12 gauge slug. Here goes nothing. One, two. Let's go have a look. Okay, so <laughs> that was a pretty cool result. It was a tad bit high, but we did get entire pass through, which was almost expected. It's a seven eighths ounce slug, I believe. And uh, you can see just about 16 inches of damage on this Dr. Coke block. <laughs> we got uh, complete punch through on the drywall as expected and a uh, little, little bit of a flap there. You know, <laughs> this is serious, serious penetration, guys. I'm not sure I would use something like that, even in a home defense scenario, even though it's a little bit lighter than a standard slug. I still don't think I would be using that inside a home. Let's flip it around and try the buckshot. Now, let's try the buckshot. Here we go. Three, two. <laughs> it looks like it went all the way around the block. Let's go see what happened. So we got a result, guys. We got about six of the nine pellets that were in that little itty bitty 12 gauge shell stopped in the Dr. Coat block. The wall worked perfectly. We had a nice spread at this distance and uh, a little bit of temporary damage. We've got a whole bunch going on in there. I'm not sure still that I would use this in a home defense scenario because even after passing through a wall, we've got about 14 inches of penetration out of those pellets. That's some pretty serious stuff. Now. Let's go have some fun with this. We're gonna make some fancy sauce for those of you that watch that movie, Step Brothers. We've got uh, some high speed to show you. Let's get to it. So that wasn't too bad. I think these rounds are actually kind of surprisingly effective. But now, we're gonna make our own version of fancy sauce. Oh, oh, there's the issues. Oh, that was gross. Oh. <laughs> I love ketchup, but that was foul. It is everywhere. Ugh. All right, now to the buckshot and the mayo. So now that I've successfully douched in ketchup, 
it's time to add the second part of the fancy sauce with a little bit of mini buckshot. Here we go. Oh, God, I hope this doesn't get all over me. One, two, and... Ew. So, so nasty. We got that mayo and the ketchup and there, right there, boys and girls, that's the fancy sauce. Now, as far as the rounds go, I was actually pretty surprised. That slug did some pretty good damage to the water, the ballistics gel, and of course, our fancy sauce. And the buckshot did pretty well too. So out of that little one and three quarter inch shell, that is really, really surprising. Now, is that gonna feed in your shotgun? Probably not. There are only a few. Apparently in a KSG, you can fit, I think, 27, 25, somewhere in there. Some asinine amount into a KSG. So, you know, if you want to load up those mini shells and use them inside your home, I don't think that's a bad idea. I think that's actually a reasonable solution. Now, you do need to be worried about overpenetration through your walls and things like that. But if you want to use buckshot or slugs in your home and you want a whole bunch of them, that's the way to go. So that was actually pretty surprising. I'm pleased with it. Guys, remember, like the video, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. And as always, thank you all for watching. We'll see you soon.